Hello Perspective, it's me. Sorry I haven't uploaded anything in a while. I have been super busy. Um, so finals week was a couple, like two weeks ago. So I was super stressed out and doing final stuff. And then uh, I came and spent a week with my grandparents in the beautiful state of California, which you can see passing in the background. Um, it's been really fun being here in California with my grandparents. My uh, my grandmother has this weird thing where she loves to buy me uh, new socks and underwear, which is really handy because all my other stuff is wearing out. And my, my grandfather has just piles and piles of experience in everything. And he taught me a whole lot about my pickup truck here, my good old Alice. Um, he taught me like how to change my oil by myself and like what all the different little things mean in the engine and how to check all the fluids. And this stuff probably to the majority of you is pretty like, duh, how do you not know this? Well, my dad and I are not mechanically gifted at all. So we just don't. But now I, I can a little bit and I know a couple of things. And so that's, it was really cool hanging out with him. And we got a dent out of the side of my car and it was just really awesome getting to be down here and be with the grandma and papas, uh, just seeing old family again. And uh, well, I learned how to play two deck pinochle and five-handed pinochle. That was exciting. Uh, now when I get back, I can play with some of my friends at school who only know how to play two deck. Um, I actually won both games. I don't know what it is, but I'm usually pretty lucky when it comes to card games. Just the way it flows. Watch, if I ever play a game for money, I'll lose it all. The So yeah, that's exciting. Um, I've got... 315 more miles before I make it back to my hometown-ish area, you know. I don't know if I ever told you this, but the week after I went to college, my parents moved an hour away from where we used to live. Like they made a little L, they went down and over. So it's kind of weird, but at the same time, it's kind of nice, you know, get out of the old place and into a new area with new people and stuff. So yeah. Is there anything else? Um, no, I think that about covers everything. Talked about California. Oh, I had my coup. Um, so all all year, you know, I've been joking around. I was uh, friends with the ASB president at, at Corbin, um, and I I was kidding around one day, and I told her that I was going to overthrow her government, and she laughed and said, "Oh, whatever, turtle. You're not actually going to do it." And I said, oh, you just wait. We're going to throw a coup. And we're going to take over. And so we get it around. And, every, and for a while, I just tell her randomly, hey, the coup is coming. Watch out. And so uh, it was dead week. And no, it might have been finals week. I can't exactly remember. I have a really bad memory. Um, anyways, so it was great. Well, we did what it ended up being me and my buddy Chris. Uh, he and I got our... Nerf guns out, and what we did was we sent a, a letter of intent three days ahead of time, specifying when and why we were taking over. And uh, so we started up at my dorm, uh, Davidson, and we headed down the hill to Schimmel with our Nerf guns. And we had two people just watching at a weapons caddy. It was great. But uh, we had the guns, and we went down, and uh, we walked into the the ASB office, and we were about five minutes late. And there, there was, uh, there was Cecily, our president. And she went, no, 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 I'm not ready. And she grabbed her gun that was on the table and we shot at each other. It was great. We chased each other around the building, shooting Nerf bullets. It was really funny. Um, they just, it, it was hilarious. It just happened. All of the, the old professors had no idea what to do or how to react. They were like, uh, okay. That just happened. It was awesome and uh so i was the asb president for the rest of the day unofficially they you know they wouldn't let me do anything like sign in new policies or tear down the clock tower that doesn't work that clock tower really annoys me it just doesn't do its job it's always off if they stopped it i mean the old saying goes even a even a stop clock is right twice a day this clock is right zero times a day 
because it's always either 20 minutes ahead or 20 minutes behind. It's a joke, you know. If we went by the clock, the clock tower, we would never be on time for anything because we never would know what time it was. It's crazy. So they, they should fix that soon. I don't know how or what's wrong with it. Maybe there's a gear missing. Maybe there's extra gear. But it just bothers me at a fundamental level. We have a non-functioning clock tower. And it's on all of our pamphlets. What, what's up with that? Our non-functioning clock. It can only be seen from like a third of the campus. Not even that. Like unless you're in the Psalm Center or the left side of PV, PV or in, I mean, there's almost nowhere where you can see this clock from. You can't even hear it for most of the campus. So it's, it's completely non-functional. Dr. Nord, that is what we need to fix next. Fix the clock tower. That, now I'm gonna get off this personal little rant. I don't know, I'm bored. I'm trying to entertain myself here. Like I said, I've got like 310 more miles to go on this long, long car trip. It's kind of hilly. Beautiful country, though. I mean, for a desert. I mean, I, I've always liked trees, and these trees are all just kind of sad. Nothing taller than 20 feet. I mean, if you could see out, you could kind of see them in the back. But up in here, there's not really much to look at at all kind of sad really I just kind of cut through the mountain a little bit I don't understand why why we don't take better care of our environment anyway uh, I'm gonna go for a bit I'll probably make at least two more videos today so uh, I'll talk to you later perspective don't do drugs stay in school don't eat roadkill <laughs>